What? All right. Day at sea today. So, this week we are on fall break for school and we decided to take the kids out on a cruise for the whole week, a Disney cruise. We're on the Disney Fantasy and uh, vacation is almost over. We actually have a couple of days left on this vacation and uh, you know, I think um, today is a really good day to um, talk about something that has been on my mind for the last couple of days. I've been trying to really put together a two minute Tuesday for you guys, but I've been having a hard time finding some inspiration. I've been trying to connect things here from the boat, from the cruise to uh, apply it to kind of, um, you know, something in dynamics. And, and I haven't really kind of uh, found something that struck me as uh, something useful that we can we can utilize in Dynamics 365 until last night. So last night something interesting happened. So so let me tell you a little bit about what what happened in the cruise so far. So this is what um, Disney calls the West Caribbean cruise. And what happened is you leave out of Cape Canaveral, which is around Orlando, Florida, and you go for one day at sea, then you stop in Cozumel, Mexico, then you stop in Grand Cayman Island, uh, and then you stop in Jamaica, um, beautiful port in Falmouth, Jamaica, and then you have a day at sea, and then you stop in Disney, Disney's private island, uh, Castaway Key, and then you go back home. So it's a whole week, um, you know, cruise. So if you have never taken a Disney cruise, this is our second cruise with Disney. Uh, one thing that is interesting that happens with Disney is that you don't get to pick where are you sitting for dinner you kind of you only get to pick the time that you want to have dinner and they give you two options so you want to have either early dinner or late dinner i think it's something like 5 45 p.m and 8 15 or something like that and once you pick the uh the time you don't get to pick the restaurants you don't get to pick the table you don't get to pick who you're sitting with or you just kind of like kind of come in at whatever time you want or who you're you're eating with which is kind of interesting now they do have restaurants in the boat where you can just come in and uh, eat whenever you want like you can skip your actual meals and just go and eat pizza at whatever time you want that's true but if you want to like a sit down meal at a restaurant you actually have to come in at whatever times they give you and sit at your predetermined table and it's interesting because whenever you do that you have a predetermined table and the people at your table is always the same um, and your servers your waiter or your waitress it's always the same too uh, even though you switch restaurants and you sit at different places it's always going to be the same people around you now the interesting part of it is like i said this is our second cruise with disney the first time around we sat with a couple from South Africa, from Pretoria. Uh, really interesting people. Um, you know, great, great couple to meet. And you know, their son was the age of our uh, our middle son, and you know, they got along great. And we had a great conversation. Still to this day, we stay in touch with them. Uh, you know, great, great uh, friends now from South Africa. This time around, we are sitting with a couple from Canada who have a daughter that is the same age as my daughter. And, you know, one of the things that I thought it was interesting is this couple from Canada is, they're on their first cruise. And they are, you know, here um, essentially on a, on a, I guess on a on a trial basis, they're trying to see if they like it. If they they don't know if they're gonna come back necessarily. And when we started talking to them on day one, they weren't even you know interested on any uh, excursions. They weren't even interested in getting off the boat. Even uh, they said, you know what, we think there's a lot to do on the on the cruise ship, which is true. There's a lot to do on the cruise ship, and we're not even interested on getting off the boat to see what the islands have to offer or or to see what's out there for us is the opposite you know in every port we had something to do i went scuba diving in one place we went swimming with dolphins in another place we went to a water set on that and then they sit with us and after you know the first night first stop in Cozumel, they get off the boat 
and they go exploring you know they shop around and stuff uh day two after we have the second dinner or the third dinner whatever it was they had placed a deposit to come back on another cruise um they have been you know off the boat in every expedition and last night at dinner um you know we had our pirate night which i still don't understand why we even celebrate pirates because pirates are pretty awful people but whatever what the But anyway, we were sitting there and, you know, this these guys were on like a, uh, you know, uh, shopping spree in Jamaica with like pirate swords and all kinds of stuff, just having the time of their life, uh, you know, spending money out at port and buying stuff in this ship. And um, I just wonder if Disney, you know, leverages the data that they get in advance from families like ours to pair up families together and kind of influence you know um you know what other families will do like in this case this other family has already placed a deposit to come back and has already you know been off the boat spending money at the shops and and, and excursions and stuff like that so i wonder if that's something they're doing and that's what made me think about the fact that we can actually do that in dynamics 365 as well and that's all. That's also something that I talked about on one of the last episodes of the uh, the MVP, the CRM MVP podcast, which was called Logic Based Consulting or Fact Based Consulting, uh, talking about how we need to push ourselves to be able to leverage the data that we have to come up with insights, not just data for information, but how can we look at our data to make more money, to get better at acquiring customers, to get better at delivering the products or services those customers buy from us, right? How can we identify trends in data that help us target customers better? You know, right now I'm working with a customer, for example, and I was talking to them about how do we target customers? How do you target um, the right you know prospects out there so whatever time we have to call organizations out there and to you know uh, essentially try to sell them what, what we sell how do we call the right organizations rather than spending time talking to people that might not be interested in buying what we offer and the answer was well we don't target anybody because we call every single lead we get Right, they get lead referred to by partners and other vendors, right? So as soon as a vendor refers them a company, they need to call them, right? So they get a list, 50 companies, whatever it is, they have to call them no matter what. So they have never done any targeting. They have never done any lead scoring or anything like that. And just by me bringing up the idea of but what if we do lead scoring what if we play some leads the the most important ones the ones that we're most certain that they will actually close what if we bring those to the top right we increase our chances of closing leads earlier on the day or at least give them more time because this is not a simple sales process right it takes paperwork and back and forward and things like that if i call you know, a lead that is most likely to close for me early in the day. It gives me more time throughout the day to get the paperwork done, to get them to make a decision if they have to meet with each other or get, you know, the, the get the finance department to approve it or whatever it is. I give them more time to make that decision. And if you do that on a Friday or on a Thursday or something like that, maybe you're able to close that sale that week which would be the last week of the month, which could be the last month of the quarter or the year. So your revenue will increase. Even if it feels like, look, we have to call every lead, no matter what, we have to call them all. We cannot just lead score or only call some ones or other ones. Doesn't matter, we have to call them all. But if you score them, if you leverage your data to push the most likely ones that you will win to the top, your revenue will increase no matter what. So try to leverage your data kind of like disney does and i'm not sure about this i think they do it i think it will be smart for them to do it i think disney's a smart company and i think that they do this and if they don't do this they should hire me so i can hook them up because it's totally working for them at least on our table it is so um again i know that this tip wasn't two minutes i didn't even put a clock down because i knew it was going to be longer than that but uh, i hope you enjoyed the tip this week and i will see you next week